In order to properly answer today's topic question, it's vital to look at things from a couple of perspectives, rather critical perspectives. I also feel that it's important, especially as a cat channel, to take a full look at this topic question rather than rushing in to a default and potentially expected position on this subject. If you are a cat owner, your cat certainly needs you. Our cats, they need us. But do all cats need humans to survive? Let's explore. Do cats that were born on the land and live off the land, true feral cats, do they need humans to survive? No, at least not in a direct sense. Sure, feral cats often rummage through garbage in order to grab a bite to eat, so I suppose that could qualify as an indirect need, but cats that live off the land don't need direct human involvement to survive. We know this by the sheer number of cats that roam the great outdoors. If direct human need was required, the feline population would drop like a rock. Essentially, every cat that you see outdoors probably would not last a week if felines needed humans in the most literal sense in order to survive. Now, your cat, your house cat, that's a totally different story. Your pet absolutely needs you in order to survive. That's one thing about being kept indoors. There's nowhere else to go meaning your house cat is stuck with you, essentially at your mercy. And of course, that's a dream come true for your pet, don't get me wrong. However, as we answer today's question from various points of view, this does mean that your cat is dependent. And that can, unfortunately, cut both ways at times. I think we've all heard of the horror stories about pets, not just cats that are mistreated by their owners. I'm sure those animals would have loved nothing more than to escape into the outdoors given a choice, but I digress. You get where I'm coming from. And while your pet could potentially fare all right outside, those instincts would kick in in rather short order. As long as your pet is under your roof, you call all of the shots. When it comes to food, water, bedding, and the bathroom. Without you in that space, your house cat could not survive. That's why this question is not as simple as it seems. For when you take a step back, the answer to this question is going to be different for different cats in different environments. And I guess if you truly, if you really, really wanted to go there, cats that live off the land, they have more options than house cats. And sure, they like comfort and security, but they're not stuck. They are very much free to roam and come and go as they please. On the flip side, being trapped in a house is much better than roaming free when a new risk could be around every corner. At least in a home environment, you have love, trust, and you know what you're getting from day to day, generally speaking. This question, as you can see, you can twist it right into a pretzel if you so desire. I personally think there's also another factor at work here, and it's us. Cat owners, if we are being totally honest with ourselves, it's fair to say that many of us elevate our own importance from time to time. As a cat owner, it's easy to at least subconsciously act like we hold some type of important position. And sure, it is true that we do hold a great responsibility, but cats are not dogs. Felines, if free to go out that door, they'll find a way to manage without us. And just to go back to an earlier point, cats are everywhere. And I'm not talking about pets that have been let outside for an afternoon stroll. Cats are simply all over the place. Not a person in sight. Well, why is that? It's because cats know how to survive. It's what they do. They know how to live off the land, and the more time spent on the land, the more those survival skills become perfected. That street cat that has never known anything other than a sidewalk. That little guy, he's making it. And sure, his days are in jeopardy without proper shelter and security, but he is making it on the land. Now, your personal cat, that pet that's on your sofa, that cat that will never step foot outside, that cat needs you, absolutely. 
Because without you, there wouldn't be, the cat would not be able to acquire the essentials needed to support life. They need you because you hold all of the cards. It's truly that simple. Again, this entire thing, this entire subject, it's really all about perspective. Cats, very much like people, they all come from different walks of life. Some live on the curb. Some live in a castle. And everything else in between. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, I came in a little red hot on this topic. I wanted to spice things up just a bit with this one and be a bit hard hitting. It's important to really think about these questions and not just mail in the answer. Now, obviously, some questions and answers are literally that simple, but this one I felt very much had two sides, so I, would, I wanted to explore both. It's important to get a healthy conversation going, and that was my goal here today. And being that we are senior cat wellness, it could have been easy for me just to take that default position and simply say, yes, of course, cats need people, you know, why wouldn't they? But that would not be fair to the topic question, and... and Truly, it would not be fair to you, the audience. And with all of that said, your thoughts, please. Let me know how you feel about this one. Do cats need humans to survive? And of course, if you disagree, please let me know why. I do not claim, do not claim, have never claimed, never will claim to have all of the answers. So if you have a different take, by all means, let me know. I do believe in healthy debate. It makes this community so much better. The feline community as a whole, so much better. So I do thank you in advance for all of your opinions. The comment section, as always, it's all yours. And as always, I do thank you so very much for taking some time out of your very busy day to join me right here at Senior Cat Wellness. Did you like what you heard today? If you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we will talk to you later.